Well, I got a lot going on in this room, huh? Here's that that unit there, the housing, and here's the insert down there. There's the insert over there for this housing. So I'm going to rearrange this room a little bit, and I'm not going to get too worked up. I'm going to work on one air conditioner at a time. I've got two air conditioners here. That's why I've moved everything kind of out of the way. I had to move the armoire this way a little bit so I can sneak around that to work. I moved the... Uh, the dining or the uh, coffee table over so I had like a little area this is my work station my staging area okay get set up before you start I'm showing you how I do it there's always two ways to do everything so you know I'm just showing you my way and I can fold these up or I can tilt the box up and pull that out of there. And I take I take a putty knife. And see, there's big staples right here. But if you take a putty knife on there, see there, it comes right out. You don't have to worry about those popping out, getting on the floor, stepping on them, or whatever. It's like that. Okay. Now I'm going to make myself a little pile of garbage in one spot. And see, I, I use the I use the plastic bags that come in here. So for this, I'm just going to cut this in little pieces so I can fit it in the plastic bag. And it makes it easier for me to throw everything away. Yeah, it takes me, you know, a few seconds to do this. But, oh well. I have a system. And the system seems to work. Pull this out. Here's your handheld remote control in here. And usually the battery's in here too, so make sure you look for the battery and you don't throw away the plastic bag, okay? Here's the, here's the handheld remote, and there's a little teensy tiny little battery in here, and this battery has plastic over. You gotta look at it, and then you gotta make sure to break that off, because if you're, if you're not noticing, you might put it in there and then think, what's the deal? The battery's not even working. And then the owner's manual, you always wanna make sure to keep the owner's manual, okay? Yeah, in case you ever have a problem with your unit. Here's your top, here's your top trim. I usually just leave that. I just leave that right now. Slide that over here. And uh, take the side, the side bit out. Now in here, I'm not gonna really use any of this stuff except one, well, maybe a couple things. Okay, I'm just gonna show you. This is, it. This is if you're gonna install it in a window. Let's say, see, here's that weather stripping I had. And then here's, here's your, your uh, accordion things. That's for a window, okay? They're, they give you two of those. They give you some top brackets. And they also give you some other stuff here. And um, there's one important thing that I use in here. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you it in, in a second. Well, I can show it to you now. You're all intent on watching this. This little, this little thing here fits in the housing on the outside. Very important because if you want to hook up a condensate drain pipe on there, one of those clear pipes, you got to snap this in first. It's got a rubber gasket on there. And then this sticks out and then your, um, your condensate pipe fits on there and, and then you put a clamp on it. So they used to not come with, the, with these particular units. Now, your, your air conditioner, I don't know if it'll come with it or not. And then they give, they give me some mounting screws, you know, for the trim and stuff. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that off to the side. Remember that. And see the rest of this stuff. Now, here's new weather stripping. So if I need weather stripping, I'm gonna, I can use that. I don't necessarily have to use the old stuff. This is this uh, nice, but I'm going to chuck it. I don't need it. And on this, how on earth am I going to get it out of this box? Well, what I used to do, what I used to do, there's a line at the bottom on some of these and it says cut here or something. I used to cut it, 
cut it, cut it all the way around, and then pull the box off. But see, then you have your old air conditioner. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to end up taking the old air conditioner, and I am going to put, I'm going to tip the housing up, or actually I'm going to tip the insert up, and I'm going to put the housing right over it, and I'm going to slip it right back in the brand new box, and I can throw it away that way, take it to the, the recycler that way, and incidentally, you shouldn't be throwing these away in a dumpster or anything like that. You, you're supposed to take it to a recycler. Now see, see this, this thing here, this, is, this piece is for if you're going to install it in a window. We're going to end up taking that out. But back to biz here, I used to pull it out, cut the box, and that. I don't do that anymore because I would like to save the box, okay? So I'm going to take this, I'm going to tilt this up. I'm just here by myself. This is, this is kind of an awkward air conditioner, but um, you know, I'm not gonna set, I'm not gonna put it up there by myself. I'm gonna have to get somebody to help me. But now, I can take this and I can pull it out. Pull it out of the box, just like that, see? Uh, basically, that's how, the, that's how the old one's gonna go back in this box, okay? Now I can gently set this back down, flip it around, and I can get ready for my next step. Hope you're learning stuff. Now here's something, here's something to consider. Most of them nowadays has this little energy guide on there and stuff. And these are more energy efficient too, by the way. Even if your old wall mount air conditioner or window air conditioner is still working, chances are it's working overtime. It's costing you more money than you're saving had you buy a new air conditioner. And most states, they have a program where you can send in and get a rebate. And you might be able to get a $50 rebate for changing out your air conditioner or a $75 rebate. It just depends. Ask your local state um, how to go about that. You might have to Google energy saving and uh, air conditioner and put in your state or whatever, see what comes up. And, and then it might make a difference. This is a 12,000 BTU unit. They might say, hey, 12,000 is fine. Anything less than 12,000, no, we're not going to give you anything or we're going to give you $50 for an 8,000 and $75 for a 12,000. Or, you know, uh, about a year and a half ago, they said, no, we're not doing air conditioners anymore. We're only doing dryers, uh, refrigerators, dishwashers, and washing machines, stuff like that. Uh, but look at your local area, ask some questions, because you might get a deduct, you might get a rebate, you, you have to send in uh, a copy of your, your receipt and all that kind of stuff, and you may get $75 back. And if you're replacing three of them, hey, that's 250, 225 bucks right there, right? So think about that and check that out. Okay, so now I'm ready, and I always carry my little, my little uh, knee pad here. And there's some on this particular one. In fact, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. And I'm doing this for a client. I would, I would save this and give that to them with the owner's manual so that they can see all that. Okay, and. This housing, I've got to pull the insert out. Before I pull the insert out, there's some, there's some shipping screws that have to be undone. Okay? And on yours, they might be in a different location, but just take a look at it, especially if you have an insert. You'd be sitting here for 20 minutes figuring out, how do I pull this insert out? I saw Joe do it, and it looked easy. Okay, well, you just have to get the screws out first. And this, keep, that, this keeps everything intact as, as it's being shipped or stored at the, at the hardware store, whatever. And there's one at each corner. There's four of these. Okay. I got those out. And I keep those screws off to the side. Okay. Now, if I had somebody here, I'd have them hang on to this. And then I'd pull this out. But since nobody's here, I'm going to try to do this on my own. Here's, here's my, my cord, and I'm going to grab it here, and I'm going to try to pull this, this out. Okay. 
that's probably okay, but I'm going to go ahead and take it out. And there's a, there's a little uh, screw right here um, holding, it's a mounting screw, holding the, uh, the extension cord. And some people leave that there. I don't leave it there after I install. I'll, I'll show you all that on a different video. But for right now, I can either, I can leave it, I guess I'll leave it. That's not going to affect it pulling out, okay? So I'm going to grab down here, and they give, you, they give you a little area here to grab. See right there? Okay. Now, did I eat my Wheaties this morning or not? We'll soon find out. Okay. Now it's hitting on the bottom, so I just have to lift it a little bit at a time and slide it out. You've got to be careful with this. All these pipes are under pressure right now. Last thing you want to do is nick one of those with anything. So you just have to be careful. You do anything and the Freon stuff is going to come out and it's not going to be good. Okay, there. Now, for this, this is my, this is the insert here, okay? So for right now, before I do anything, you want to be careful when you move this. You don't want to put your hands on these fins because you could bend them. Okay, there's fins on the back and there's also fins in the front. If I touch that, I can bend it. If I hit it with a screwdriver, whatever, okay? That's the last thing I want to do, okay? So for right now, I'm just going to slide this out of my way. I'm going to put it over here in the corner and deal with that in a minute, okay? My next, my next thing I want to do, I've got to take this off because I don't need this. This is for a wall mount air conditioner, so I'm just going to Take it up like that. There's three screws here that I'm going to take out. I just want to be careful because there's, uh, there's other, these screw holes on the side, the mounting screw holes, they just dimpled it. And so you've got the inside, um, it's, it's sharp. If you get in here, you know, close to your knuckles, you can cut yourself. I've seen a guy do it. He wasn't paying attention, and he cut himself pretty good, okay? I can just swivel that down. I'm going to keep all these screws for the time being. You can put that underneath your bed in case any intruder comes. You can, you can whack them with this thing. Oh, that, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't feel very good, would it? Okay, what's next? What's next? Still with me? Okay, I'm getting ready with this housing and when I get ready to put my screws, my mounting screws, sometimes they don't fit in those holes very well and so I take a little scratch off and I just kind of do this business. I don't have to do it to all of them because remember I said I do the top, the top and bottom one. Okay, I don't worry about these two. So now on the inside, I can, I can just do that. And it kind of gets those burrs out of my way when I get ready to put the screws in. Last thing you want to do is mess around. You can't get those, those screws in, you know, or it's not going in straight. It's going in crooked. So I just do this. I find it, it helps. It helps just a little. And here, this, this was for shipping, so I just moved that out of the way. And uh, there's a couple in the back, but, you know, I think I'm going to leave those because it fit before. And there, there's, just some, there's just some little padding along the side. You don't have to take that stuff out. In fact, I just look and make sure it's pushed down. Sometimes when you pull the unit out, some of this might kind of push you in. So you want to check that because when I push the new housing in, or the insert in, I want to make sure it doesn't hit any of this gasket that's being bulged down and I have to force it in there, okay? All right, this housing is ready to go in the opening. Kaboom.